Hey folks, how's it going? This is Artigal here, back with another lot showcase for The Sims 4. This time I'm showing off the Brantley by Silrose, aka Genba. And it's on a 30 by 20 lot. It's two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And the price is 90,538 simoleons. Alright, so yeah, let's just jump right into this. So it is a bungalow, it's not two floors. However, it does have a basement. Well, get into that in a little bit. So uh, yeah, the outside is pretty nice. Just rotate around here. Whoa, that's weird. It's lagging a little bit for some reason. Whoa, okay. Oh, but yeah, here it is. And there's a nice patio back here. And there's a barbecue over here as well, which is pretty nice with the <laughs> decorative hose, just in case a disaster happens. And uh, yeah, the patio is really nice, especially when placed like here. I'll just zoom out where I've placed it in my game. So I place it in this neighborhood where the steamboat goes by on the river. So you can have a really good view if you just like have your sim sit out on the patio here and then just like watch the world go by. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, let's just show off the uh, inside of that house now. So here we have uh, we have a little entranceway here with a bench and some shoes and some jackets hanging up there. That's pretty nice. It's very realistic. And you come right into the living room. I'll put the walls up here so you can get a better idea of how it looks. So yeah, there's a nice uh, brick wall and then uh, there's some other types of walls over here. And yeah, I have two sims living in here because I will have them live in this house off camera. They might get a let's play in the future, I'm not sure. It kind of depends on what the next game pack or expansion pack is. So yeah, here's the room from the other angle. You can look out and see the street from there. It's a pretty nice view as well too. And uh, yeah. No, this is, by the way, the house does not come with this selfie. That's just something I took while I was just testing the house out and uh, playing a little bit. Yeah, there's a nice fireplace over here with some objects on here. You could also use it as a place to store your collectibles once you start playing with your sims. And I really like the uh, <laughs> purple couch. I don't know, it's just an interesting splash of color. I really like that a lot. All right, so let's move on to another room. Let's. Move on to the kitchen, I guess. It's where we're uh, looking at it already. I really like the colors in this kitchen. It, it kind of reminds me of a nautical theme a little bit, even if there isn't really that much red in this kitchen. But it does kind of remind me of something I'd see by the seaside. Uh, by the way, that freezer bunny ice cream clutter, I also placed there myself. That does not come with this house. It's custom content from, uh, from this ice cream parlor set. But uh, anyways, yeah, there's like a shelf over here. You can store some stuff. And yeah, it's just a lot of blues, some kind of mid-range furniture, so it's not like uh, completely cheap, which is good because yeah, this is definitely not a star home. It's priced quite a bit above that. <laughs> I like the cow right there. I know Tazreen would probably love that object. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to the dining room. As you can see, there's an easel, which is good because one of my sims uh, will be a painter. And uh, that uh, teapot painting is also what she painted. <laughs> but uh, other than that, this is uh, all what you see here that comes with the house. A very nice dining room, lots of space for sims to sit at, even if you don't have like six sims living in this house. It's not really meant for six sims, I don't think, since it's only two bedrooms, but yeah, lots of room for guests, which is great. I do like having uh, some extra room for guests. And uh, yeah, I like the use of the curtains and this extra chair on the side here. It looks very nice. I definitely like it a lot. All right, so let's go over to the next room. Here is, I guess we would call the master bedroom. It has a very natural sort of look to it. A lot of browns and sort of just natural looking stuff with plants and just brown colors. I really do like this. It does remind me of Outdoor Treat a little bit. 
and yeah, there's really too much else to say about it really other than that. Yeah, I definitely like it. it looks very nice. If you have a sim who loves the outdoors, then this bedroom might be perfect for them. <laughs> Alright, so let's go out here. And here's the bathroom. Bathroom also looks really nice. I love when uh, shower and tub combos are used in houses. And I don't know, it's a pretty small bathroom. There isn't too much to say about it, so you kind of have two sinks, so if you have two sims in here at the same time, then they can both use a sink instead of getting routing failures and waiting for the other to finish. Alright, let's go over here where I believe the next other bedroom is. Yep! So here's a, a single bedroom. Yeah, definitely made to be a kid's bedroom with all the posters here. They have their own computer and stuff, which is really nice. Yeah, it's definitely nicely decorated. Oh look, the penguins! <laughs> That's so cute. I really like that a lot. Um, okay, I think I've shown off about everything on this uh, first floor here. I'll just make sure I didn't miss anything. No, not really. I mean, there's just like the hallways, but they're just hall. It's just a hallway. That's not really much to it. Has a plant, which is cool, so it's not completely plain. But let's move on to the basement, which is really cool. Let's put the walls up again. So yeah, this is awesome. I, I was really surprised by the basement. I was like, okay, yeah, the house is really cute and quaint and cozy. But then when I got to the basement, that's kind of what took this house to the next level for me. So here you have a really nice uh, seating bar area. And then you have a punching bag over here for your more athletic sims. And then you have like another desk over here where you could like put another computer if you want to. And there's some storage over here. And then there's like a table where you could like play cards if you want to. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot to do down here. There's even a guitar if your sim uh, fancies some music. You can learn the guitar down there and they can... Uh, <laughs> if there's nobody else down there, then they can just practice in peace without worrying about judgment from the outside world. Then you have another bathroom in here. This one is mostly like black and white schemed. Very modern looking. It definitely goes with the bar, so I do appreciate that. Attention to detail. And uh, interesting use of fencing here, where like the bathtub is like placed in between these two. Very interesting. I haven't really seen that in a house before. So that's pretty awesome. And then there's the sim riding the rocket. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that bathroom. And, oh, I kind of overlooked this room over here when I was looking through this house, so... I don't know, I, I guess this is just meant to be a blank room where you can just place whatever you want. I'm pretty sure this house does not come with any custom content, so it's not that. So yeah, I guess it can be an extra bedroom if you want to, or... I don't know, um, like, just something that you could use with the future expansion pack, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to think of ideas, like, I guess if you wanted to have, like, the woodworking table in this room, then you could place all your creations in here. So I guess that's just an empty room to leave up to the imagination, however you want to use it. So that's, like, that's actually pretty good, I really like that. Because, yeah, most houses are just built a, sp a specific way, and then there isn't really much room to expand upon it or make it your own. But uh, with this house, then that's good. You don't have a problem with that. So yeah, that should definitely be great for when we have more expansion packs in the future. And then we can be like, whoa, where can I use this? Oh, we can use it in this house, in that room. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this house. So overall, definitely a really nice house. It doesn't look like too much from the outside. But then once you look inside it, then you can see like how quaint this home really is. I definitely... Uh, like it a lot, and Jenba really makes some nice lots. I remember I did show off one of her community lots in The Sims 3, and that was actually like the first lot showcase I ever did. <laughs> that was really fun. She made like a seafood restaurant. Maybe I'll leave uh, a card, because uh, yeah, I do like using the cards more than annotations now. I might leave a link to it in a card, because uh, yeah, that was a really fun lot as well. If you still play The Sims 3 and you're watching this video, but, uh, yeah, as always, I'll leave uh, the uh, origin ID in the video description below of the creator, as well as in the title, as I usually do. And be sure to leave a like, or a comment, or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos. And 
It helps you keep up to date with the latest content for me more easily, including lot showcases like this one, custom content showcases, and all of my Let's Plays, and info slash thoughts videos, and did you know videos, and so much more. So uh, yeah, I will talk to you later guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. See what these two Sims are up to. Like when Owen collects your name. Robot flex, huh? Talking gown. Oh, they're both materialistic. They both really love money. Money.